Anna, we love that you became the queen of Arendelle at the end of Frozen 2. But no one is happier than Elsa. Because, well, she never really wanted to rule in the first place. But now that she's the ruler of the Enchanted Forest, you're in charge, and we can't wait to see what you do with the kingdom. And Kristoff will make a wonderful ruler too. But while some things never change, like your love for Olaf, Kristoff, Sven, and Elsa, Frozen 3 is going to shake things up like never before. Frozen 3 has yet to be confirmed, but that hasn't stopped us from cooking up a storyline for the threequel. Keep watching as we reveal what we think will happen in Frozen 3. Frozen 2 ended with Anna's coronation, but many of us were left wondering if Anna and Kristoff had gotten married yet. Fans want to see Anna walk down the aisle, so if it was up to us, Frozen 3 would begin with a royal wedding. We want to see what Anna's wedding dress is going to look like. And we also want to see the look on Kristoff's face when she makes her grand slow motion entrance. Frozen 3 would start on a high note. The Kingdom of Arendelle would be thriving, and the Natholdra tribe would be too. Sven would be King Kristoff's best man, and Elsa would be Anna's maid of honor. If you thought Frozen 2 was visually stunning, wait until you set your sights on the royal wedding. We just hope that Anna and Kristoff get to sing their vows to each other. They're long overdue for a romantic duet. It would be so much better than Anna and Han's song, Love is an Open Door. Everyone loves a royal wedding, so spirits would be at an all-time high in Arendelle. But if there's one thing we've learned from Frozen 2, it's that all things do eventually change. Arendelle has always been a peaceful place. Well, except for that time Elsa set off an eternal winter. Oh, and that time Hans tried to crown himself as king. And let's not forget that time Gale chased everyone out of Arendelle and into the mountains. Okay, maybe it's not the most peaceful place. But it will be once Queen Anna and King Kristoff start calling the shots. However, something big will happen that will put both the Enchanted Forest and the Kingdom of Arendelle at risk. And we think that Frozen 3 will center around this. Keep watching to find out about the big bad of Frozen 3. The best storyteller that ever lived. By now, we all know that Olaf is the best storyteller in the Disneyverse. He filled the lost Arendelle soldiers and the Natholdra tribe in on the events of Frozen. And he did the same for Elsa's baby snowman in the post credit scene of Frozen 2. Unfortunately for Olaf, his stories might be what leads to outsiders trying to take over the enchanted forest. Let us explain. Olaf is getting older. He's becoming more curious. And just like Elsa, he's going to want to venture into the unknown. Perhaps Olaf will travel the world and share his stories with the people he meets on the road. And while most people don't believe in magic and elemental spirits, these stories are way more convincing when they come from a talking snowman. So eventually, these stories will be told all over the world, which might bring unwanted attention to the Kingdom of Arendelle and its surrounding neighborhoods. The Frozen franchise has totally flipped the script on the common Disney movie. Instead of solely focusing on villains, Disney concentrated on the emotional journeys of their main characters. Sure, some villains popped up along the way, but none of them were all that threatening. We mean, come on, Hans, he's not a villain. He's a simple-minded buffoon with a badly hatched plan. And then there's Agnar's father, the man responsible for angering the spirits of the forest. But he hardly showed his face in Frozen 2, so we wouldn't exactly call him a villain. We don't know about you, but we'd love to see Elsa go up against someone who has powers of their own. And that's what we think will happen in Frozen 3. Olaf's stories will reach the ears of a very evil man, a man who wants power more than anything. So, he'll find a way to siphon the magic from the enchanted forest, and he'll become just as powerful as Elsa, if not more. Once he steals the magical abilities of the four elemental spirits, he'll go after Elsa. And boy, what a showdown that will be. But more on that later. If there's one thing we want to know more about, 
it's Queen Iduna's past. We know that she belonged to one of the oldest families of the Natholja tribe, but that's pretty much all we know. The Arendelle soldiers and the Natholjans were trapped in the forest for 34 years. But surely, some of Iduna's family must still be alive. But we think that Yelena is related to Anna and Elsa through her mother's side of the family. She was ready to attack Elsa and her crew when they first crossed the fog barrier in Frozen 2. But the second she saw Iduna's scarf, she immediately changed her tune. And since Yelena is the leader of her people, she must belong to an ancient family too. We expect Elsa and Yelena to become very close in Frozen 3. And maybe, just maybe, Yelena will reveal herself to be Iduna's mother, Elsa and Anna's grandmother. How cool would that be? We would love for Elsa and Anna to meet some of their long-lost family members. After all, all they have is each other, in terms of family members. Do you love hearing about the latest Disney news and theories? Then subscribe to the things and let the good times roll. If you want to be the first to comment on our videos, click that bell and turn on those post notifications. If you're watching on your mobile, turn on notifications in your YouTube settings. This way, you'll never miss another video. Falling in love has never been one of Elsa's priorities. In Frozen, she was too busy trying to accept her true self. And in Frozen 2, she was preoccupied with journeying into the unknown and finding her true calling. But there's nothing like watching your younger sister get married to make you realize that it's time to put yourself out there. We definitely weren't the only ones who noticed sparks flying between Elsa and Honey Marin in Frozen 2. So, if we had to choose a future partner for Elsa, it would totally be her. Elsa and Honey Marin might fall in love in Frozen 3, but unfortunately for Elsa, this will be used against her. Remember that evil man we talked about earlier in the video? You know, the one who's going to attack the forest and steal the powers of the four elemental spirits? Well, we think he's going to realize that he's no match for Elsa, so he'll choose to kidnap Honey Marin and use her against her. He'll propose a trade, Elsa's powers for Honey Marin's life. But will Elsa choose to save Honey Marin and give up her powers? Keep watching to find out. Before we reveal what will happen at the end of Frozen 3, we think it's important to mention that Anna and Elsa will grow apart in the threequel. But don't worry, their bond will become stronger than ever by the end of the third film. Now that Anna is the Queen of Arendelle, she's one busy lady. And so is Elsa. She's the official ruler of the Enchanted Forest after all. Despite being super close in Frozen 2, these two sisters will eventually grow apart. Elsa will fall in love and start spending a lot of her free time with Honey Marin, and she'll start missing her weekly charade parties with Kristoff, Olaf, and Anna. Anna will think that she did something wrong, and Elsa will feel the same. But all that will change when Anna finds out that the Enchanted Forest is under attack. Arendelle will defend the forest. Once upon a time, the people of the forest saw the Arendelle soldiers as their only threat. But those days are long gone. Now, the people of the forest view the Arendelle soldiers as their allies and vice versa. When Honey Marin gets kidnapped, Ryder will escape and run to Arendelle to tell the king and queen about what happened and Anna and Kristoff will round up the troops and defend the Enchanted Forest. Problem is, there really isn't anything that Anna and Kristoff can do, because their enemy will be much too powerful at this point. But the fact that Anna rushes to Elsa's side will be all it takes to mend their sisterly bond. Anna will find out that Elsa has been distancing herself because she's in love, which will make Anna super happy. Anna will be there to console Elsa when she finds out that Honey Marin has been kidnapped, and she'll be there to help her make an impossible choice. Her powers or Honey Marin. The ultimate sacrifice. So, we hate to break it to you guys, but one of Elsa's closest friends isn't going to survive. But before we tell you who, let's jump right into the final battle. The big bad of Frozen 3 is going to wield a magical amulet, which is what allows him to steal the element's powers in the first place. All Elsa has to do is break that amulet 
and the powers will return to their rightful owners. Problem is, the villain has Honeymarin as a hostage, and Elsa isn't about to risk Honeymarin's life. So, Elsa agrees to give up her powers. We know, pretty crazy, right? But like most villains, Elsa's enemy goes back on his word. He steals her powers and tries to end Elsa's life by sending a blast of ice her way. And that's when Yelena jumps in front of Elsa, sacrificing herself in the process. It's a really sad moment, but Yelena's sacrifice serves as an element of surprise. And Honey Marin pounces on the villain, stealing his magical amulet and breaking it. The Arendelle soldiers and the Natholdra tribe attack the evil man and his henchmen, putting an end to his rule. Then, we flash forward to Honey Marin, Elsa, Kristoff, and Anna playing couple charades. It's Anna's turn to go up, and she places her hands on her belly. And that's when Kristoff yells pregnant. That's how Anna breaks the news to them. So, Frozen 4 could totally be about the next generation of Arendelle. And that's a wrap on what will happen in Frozen 3. Before you go, tell us what you think will happen in the threequel. And be sure to tell us what you would name Kristoff and Anna's baby. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. We'll catch you next time on The Things.